you know, when I started this channel two years ago, um, I set some goals. Um, I wanted to be like a millionaire. I wanted to have like one million subscriber. Uh, I wanted to have like 10 girlfriends. Uh, I wanted to travel around the world every year. And after two years, I'm super proud to say that I have 1,000 subscriber. That that's pretty much. But I have other goals also, and one of those goals is to to make like a spotlight on the Canadian uh, entrepreneur, uh, Canadian business, because we have in the back, uh, in the bottom of us, our country is called United States, and they're kind of big. And sometimes those the company from United States, uh, they 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 do like a or little shadow on the Canadian company because we're a smaller market. So I wanted to, to just make a. Um, to show you what uh, kind of a Canadian product that uh, we make also. And Canada Aquamarine is, I consider personally, one of the Regis Tremblay, his name, is one of the gem we have in Quebec, in the province of Quebec. And uh, I wanted to, to make like a spotlight on this. So what it is, is it's a live food. So we reproduce uh, copepod, reproduce uh, uh, phytoplankton, reproduce uh, rotifera and all this kind of stuff. And it's super amazing. Uh, you can check on his website. He have like a blog where he document everything, and it's super, super fascinating. Uh, I, every time I watch his stuff and, and the feed on the Facebook, I'm just blown away by the stuff he, he's doing. I really love that. Go check on the website. It's in French and English. I have to say this is a sponsor video. I didn't, I didn't pay for that. I in the past I received another box for this aquarium, and uh, I made a video which is my favorite YouTube video I've made so far. Watch this video, it's about the nano reef um, competition. And yeah, because I'm saying that because sometimes YouTubers don't say the, the, all the stuff, but I'm super open and I want to respect the viewer uh, first and most of all. So this has been given to me uh, in the past, I bought uh, the, those bottles. So I'm gonna put, open this, I just opened it to, to make sure it, what it was, because I wasn't sure uh, initially. All right, so let's open it. So right now I have in the box, the Canada Aquamarine called the Podcom, just like that. And they have a new label, which is transparent, which is super cool. I love the logo, by the way. Uh, so I'm gonna make some close up of that. I know it looked like uh, just water, but believe me, <laughs> there's a ton of life inside of this. And after that, you have the phytoplankton, which is the food that the copepods, the zooplankton, the vertifer, all this kind of animal, uh, family they, they eat that so this is the essential food and for me it's super essential because uh, the l little nano reef that I'm using right now uh, there's absolutely like no food so this is vital for me so you know it's like a uh, phytoplankton because it's green I don't remember uh, which uh, specific species of phytoplankton it is so this is what the, the mix of uh, copepod uh, look like um, as you can see it's really hard to see to notice anything so I'm gonna change the lighting so you can see what's uh, inside of the bottle. So before doing this video, I asked Regis Humbley some question because uh, I was wondering how those things work and uh, hopefully you'll find this video useful for you. So when you receive uh, the, the product like that, it's like a mix of copepod, uh, vertifer or whatever, it's like a mix of zooplankton that's inside. So there's a living creature inside and they need to uh, breathe oxygen. So one of the things you can do you can just like just remove the cups like that so it will just have a like, gas exchange because this is a loving character the the feeds into the phytoplankton that you see so maybe i don't know if you can notice but it's slightly green so the, the why is uh, green is because there is some phytoplankton that's inside of this but also so i don't know what kind of volume of phytoplankton that is inside of it but the the green color come from this so they, they feed into that so eventually of course they will poop, they will create ammonia and it's really important to have like some uh, gas exchange. Also the temperature to, to maintain those copepods and living creature is between 22 to like maybe uh, 27 degrees Celsius. So you have like a, this kind of range uh, where to keep. So don't put that like in your fridge uh, and because they will just uh, be killed at once like uh, 6 degrees or whatever. So this is one of the things. When you look close up those bottles with your eyes, you'll see some living copepod, you'll see like some movement. Sometimes the, those bottles are 
like pretty much like a lot of water sometimes you see a lot of living creature so basically when you see a ton of a living creature inside of the bottle make sure you use the bottle really fast because they will just consume the phytoplankton that's inside and eventually it will just crash the bottle so when you see like in a store cuttlefish store and you see like the bottle and it feels a little bit like empty there's not a lot of copepod inside of it it's because they want to make sure that the the living creature that is inside of this bottle will live for at least maybe like two to three weeks something like that so basically the best thing you can do with this living creature product is just dump it basically in your aquarium and the best time to dump uh, all this uh, living creature is during the night because the it will just give a little bit uh, of room uh, to not be eaten by like mandarins by seahorse by pikefish or, and whatnot so put that inside of the aquarium during the night so they will have like a higher survival rate don't worry if you see like one of those uh, bottles that they look a little bit empty it's not it's just because uh, it will just survive way longer inside of the bubble they are doing this on purpose so here's the thing if for some reason you don't dump all this uh, this uh, zooplankton inside of it i'm gonna just turn on the light so you can see a little bit the best thing you can do is always to make sure that the the water is green once the the the, the water is like more transparent that means uh, you need to, to feed some phytoplankton. You can see the green here. So make sure it's always a little bit here green like this. So the, the copepods and the living creature that's inside uh, will just feed uh, upon that. And eventually you're gonna have like some uh, accumulation of like basically poop on the, the bottom of the, this bottle. So make sure like to just siphon the, this part. So what you can do also with the light, usually they will just uh, go away and they will like live in this uh, its area so you can siphon uh, all this uh, bad uh, poop uh, that's inside so what, this is like a little trick that uh, you can do now for the reproduction rate uh, inside of the living food honestly it depends on each uh, copepod on each uh, rotifer all species have a different rate some of them they live for two days some of them live for one month they, they all have like a different stage of uh, cycle of life and cycle of uh, reproduction so it always depends on the copepod that's inside this will vary but you can do your own reproduction make sure you uh, always have some phytoplankton mm -hmm. you can use like some air bubble you can just go uh, on the youtube and type uh, how to uh, reproduce uh, phytoplankton because they feed with that so if you reproduce the phytoplankton you can reproduce the copepod also for your own needs of your aquarium so if that interests you live food uh, for like for aquarium for feeding your mandarins or pipefish uh, or just like to have like a big biodiversity uh, that will just uh, clean maybe a little bit uh, your aquarium it will just make uh, your aquarium also a little bit more healthy Canada Aquamarine he should basically uh, in the whole Canada I don't think he ship in the US he will ship directly from his uh, website so you can go on the website if you live in Quebec you can check on your uh, local fish store he might ha you might have uh, seen those bottle all right so now for the phytoplankton when you receive the the bottle uh, depending on how long it's been in the bottle you might like have some uh, accumulation uh, on the bottom like that just make sure like to just rotate uh, the bottle sometime and shake it a little bit or what you can do, you can just uh, go on YouTube, search how to reproduce a uh, phytoplankton, and you will see like they, they use like a bub air bubble, and it will just create some movement. And if you want to reproduce the phytoplankton, you need some fertilizer, specific fertilizer uh, for this, and it will just uh, reproduce, and it will like the the green will be like a uh, way more darker than this. Now, if it's your maybe your first live food, and, and you're interested, and you live in Canada. Uh, go to visit uh, his website. You have like a uh, Facebook, you have uh, Instagram, you have also uh, YouTube. So he's basically like super active on uh, Facebook. He and he show like some crazy stuff uh, on it, and that's why I love him so much. Uh, so yeah, all the I think his cost maybe for that is like uh, 18 bucks or something like that. Uh, it's cheaper than other brand I think. And uh, yeah, so go on his website. Uh, all the link down below. You can click on this. Uh, if you like this video and you find something really useful for you. Uh, just give me a like button and uh, thank you for watching uh, this video uh, I will just uh, drink no that's not my bottle I will just uh, drink uh, some water because it's really hot right now and uh, thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel etc etc thank you bye bye I have been gotten used to